Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Keeper Real MMA. Um, right. <laughs> um, I know it's been a while. Um, been scalping for some news, but um, I was I was meant to make this video a while ago, but uh, work got a bit busy. But today is a quiet day. Literally, nobody's here today, so train going past. Don't see anything happening. <laughs> but yeah. Um, uh, I just wanted to talk about the news that came out a couple of days ago in the sense of uh, Rob Font versus uh, Adrian Yanez has uh, been announced or like is gonna happen. Um, it's a good fight, it's the fight I wanted to happen. It's crazy to think though, right, <clears throat> that this fight wouldn't have happened if they got the decision correct with Yanez versus Davy Grant because Davy Grant clearly won that fight, he got robbed. Um, that would have been nuts if they'd actually got that fight correct. Because I could trust in Davy Grant to win another fight and then uh, get a Rob Font fight. But um, especially against somebody like Tony Kelly, man. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Yanis versus Font. Now, who do I think is going to win this fight? Now, this is a very hard fight to predict. This is really hard, man. Because this is one of those fights where it's like, do, can I trust Rob Font to not just take shots, but dodge shots enough to where he doesn't have to be chinny and go down all the time and just piece up Yanez? Or do I trust Yanez to piece up Font and KO him? Now, Yanez has a couple of tricks up his sleeve. He has the he has the high, sneaky high kicks out of nowhere. He has a couple of things up his sleeve, like I said. But the biggest problem with him is that he doesn't have the Cheeto Vera type kicks where he's just going to pull a sweet chin music out of nowhere. Or he's not, you know what I mean? He's not going to pull something crazy out of nowhere. <clears throat> Unless it's like, like I said, one of those sneaky high kicks or a sneaky hook. Uh, I'm going with Rob Font. No, this is, this is what I'm thinking, right? If I look at um, Yarnes's fight versus, um, I get more into frame, right? There we go. Um, if you look at Giannis' fight versus Randy Costa, now, granted, he has, he has become better since that fight, but look at the way that Costa was piecing him up. Now, Costa, he's a pretty good striker. He's okay-ish on the ground. The biggest problem with Costa is, is that he gives up as soon as he feels, as soon as he starts to gas out, or like, you know, his cardio is in there, or he feels any bit of adversity, he taps out, he, he, he quits, he does whatever, right? He just quits. He just quits, simple as. Um, if it goes past the first round, he quits. If if he feels any bit of adversity, he gets taken down, he allows you to submit him. If he if he starts to get beat up pretty badly on the feet, he'll quit. But what Costa did in the first round was very smart, where he was popping the honors with a lot of jabs. With a lot of jabs, he was popping him with a lot of jabs, sticking it to him, and just being very smart with his game plan, uh, keeping him at range, and just outboxing Yanez really. And Yanez is known as like a mini Masvidal per se, so he's you know even though he's a sensitive little bitch, but um, yeah, um, and it's just one of those things where it's like, well, you're getting pieced up by a guy who's known for more of a kickboxing style. Um, so what's it going to happen when you come up against another guy who has a boxing style like you, who's clearly better at boxing, and I think that Font is going to win this uh, fight by decision. Um, I think Font is going to win, and Font always struggles when he comes up against a guy who has similar or longer reach than him. But when, <clears throat> but when Font has the longer reach and he's the better boxer, that's when he does his great work. Like, look at the fight versus Cody Garbrandt. The fight where he had a, he had a reach advantage. He was a bit taller. And he, he's the better boxer. And better defensively than uh, Cody Garbrandt. He pieced, he pieced fucking Garbrandt's face off. He pieced his fucking face off. And that's what he's going to kind of do to Giannis. But Giannis is going to land some hard body shots. I do trust in Rob Font to get it done, though. I trust him to get it done by decision where he just keeps piecing Yanez up for three rounds, but uh, maybe one of the rounds is interesting, maybe he gets dropped and he loses it. So I'll say like a 28, 28. Um, I trust in his cardio, I trust in his style, and I trust him to be the better boxer and to stay out of trouble because bro, nobody's, 
not a lot of people in the back to weight division can pull off the type of shit that Cheeto does with, you know, in the last second of a run where he pulls out his sweet chin music, where he pulls out his hook that looks like it's going to be a jab and is weird. Like, Cheeto's a very weird fighter, man. Like, Cheeto's the only person I've seen that can get outlanded by over 100 significant strikes and still win the fight because he keeps dropping the guy. So it's like, it's one of those. So, yes. But I do agree, Font is chinny. He's very chinny, man, and he's getting older, so it's hard for him to take these shots, especially after the Aldo fight where he just kept getting dropped over and over and over again. And then he fought Cheeto and he kept getting dropped over and over and over again. And I get it, you know what I'm saying? And age catches up with him, but I don't think Giannis is ready to take on a guy like, um, a guy like uh, Font. I really don't think so. Um, I don't think Giannis is good enough to outbox him, and I don't think Giannis will have the range to be able to do that. Uh, Font is slightly taller, I think, or maybe the same height, but he has a slight reach advantage, I believe. And I just think that he's the better boxer. Um, even if he didn't have a reach advantage here, I'd still suggest him winning because he's just the better boxer who's better at the jab, better at the straight right, straight lefts. He's got his switching stances, and I feel like he's going to be able to avoid the high kicks. And I think he's just going to continuously pop Giannis' face off and cruise to a decision. Maybe get dropped in the first round or second round, like I said, but win two rounds at least, 29-28. Uh, it's, it's harder for Giannis because like, he doesn't really present the takedown threat so it's like it's going to be easier for Font to manoeuvre around and I know the last two guys <laughs> I know the last two guys that he fought let's go right. haven't been like takedown threats in a way like uh, obviously like Aldo definitely isn't Cheeto definitely isn't um Cody Garbrandt tried to take him down, but Cody Garbrandt did actually manage to take him down. Same with Marais, but uh, he has very good take on fence, and he's going to pop him back up to his feet. Giannis is not going to hold him down. So I see Font <coughs> cruise into a 29-28 where he's staying out of trouble. He's landing really good shots on Giannis, jabbing his face off, doing what he needs to do to win. Um... I just think he's the better boxer, like I said, he's the better striker, and this is going to be a primarily stand-up test. Um, I think Giannis will land some solid body shots from kicks, punches, but I just think that the boxing and experience of Font will get him through this fight, and I just believe that he'll cruise to a 29-28. Um, like I said, I don't know which round, I think you get dropped in one of the rounds, but I think he'll survive and do what he needs to do uh, to win the rounds, so yeah. I got Rob Font by 29-28 decision. Um, if anything else comes up, guys, I will try and make a video on it as quick as possible. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like, um, because obviously there's no UFC for a couple of more weeks, so it's, uh, be, there's no news at all, really. Um, only a couple of fighters, like, retiring. Um, no, well, not a couple. Like, uh, one retiring is Ogulov retiring after the Armand Sarukian fight. Um, it makes sense because of health issues. I mean, he did start having, like, a weird twitch where he was going... Like, all the time, it was strange. Because um, he developed that out of nowhere. It was weird. Um, and he was doing it while fighting, which is mad. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please like and subscribe. Um, as you can tell, I'm keeping real MMA. I keep it real. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, uh, I keep it real MMA. If you're new, please like, subscribe, share, all that. It really helps me. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.